Hey guys, welcome back. I have to bit rate a little bit for this episode. You guys can tell me if it's noticeable. I didn't realize that it was bad until I <laughs> watched my <that> episodes. <laughs> this is why having fans is important. Be wondering what's the deal with all the wire in the inventory? I made the bridge. After I stopped recording, I got a frozen shell fairly quickly, and then I built this. The annoying part was. I had to change it for the campfires. <laughs> I had to like build around them. Oh, yeah, I don't like this hook as much. Oh, also, a uh, fun fact about Master Ninja Gear you can go right up to the top speed. So it works really well with uh, this setup. done, we're pretty much ready for the fight with, what's his name, Windlord. Uh, my inventory's kind of filled. a little bit longer. We'll see though. After this first fight, we don't have enough uh, space. Uh, we can always rebuild. I don't know if you guys remember when I went for this because I want Major improvements to all stats. All these are minor. This one lasts long here. So I'll keep that on me for now. I'll swap it out once I get 
this last invasion. I also got the Paladin's Hammer, I can't remember if that was last episode or not. better in this situation. So I ran out of uh our crystals for the lamps. it back. This does more damage but it doesn't go as far. Time to go. He flew too close to the sun.
was like, what is this doing? And it's like, oh, just that. Oh yeah, I got this to be warding. I reforged some of my stuff. So now I have pretty much all menacing here. Master Ninja Gear paying off there. Wonder if the dog chant stacks with the healer item. Hey bud, you might not want to be around here. Can I lead this into the truffle? Oh, it died.
about to upgrade that. This isn't enough to, to kill a pillar on its own. And we can make the bridge a little bit longer too, we've got some gel saved up. It's really fast now. Look at that. Oh wow. be a warning before that. Yeah, I need more defense.
There we go. I read it for it. Now we have shit on defense. Feels so underpowered. I don't know. I don't get why the teleporters kept switching direction. Because if you run to the left, then you should keep running to the left after the teleport. gonna die. Maybe I should put Worm Scarf back in rotation. I don't know what I'd get rid of for it though.
material now. What if, this might be crazy, but what if I put, if I replace the frost spark boots with the scarf, because of how fast the asphalt goes. Eleven damage in master mode. I got so much ice loot on the last episode after I closed the stream. Turns out there's like ice bows, ice staff, frost brand, and then there's all the normal uh, underground accessories that get dropped, like the depth meter, compass. a lot faster than it used to be.
do you like my horse, 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 my bony horse, horse? No one else can make a horse exactly in this manner, man. It might be daytime and just be hard to tell since I'm in a good yard biome. I used to have to wait for him to spawn. It's annoying. That wyvern though. Pretty cool. I could also try a shiny stone strap where I just stand still. That might work. Even though the you still have to dodge the laser. I gotta figure out why this stopped working. I don't know, I must have done something weird with it. Maybe you should go too fast. Oh yeah. Bonfires turn off anyways. I spent all that time fixing that for the arena. Oh come on. He like rises faster than I rise. That's annoying. God damn it. That beam's gonna kill me. Let's see. Wait, 
able to kind of get it away. Okay, the beam's done. I should be using this. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. Wow. closing his eyes. I guess that's smart for him to do. Is it always not? I can't, like, I can rise up with the wings, but I rise up super slow. I don't know how to make that faster. Ouch. Let's dodge that one. For the ending, I just need to run until my health can regen. I'm pretty sure. What? I 
had so much stone. This game is trolling me. I will beat Moon Lord eventually. I probably shouldn't use this. You know what? I'll use it for the cultists and I'll put it away. You need so much gel for your asphalt bridge, it's annoying. I could probably do something like one block of asphalt and then one platform. It's kinda cool, I guess. actually be underpowered with all warding accessories. Yeah, 14 damage. Wow. 
one contact damage. really close. I almost hit a different one by accident. Full moon's night. The spears keep disconnecting from his face. Maybe grind for fish rod wings. That might help me uh, dodge them with more laser better. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Wow, that is so many. How do I dodge all that? Holy heck. It's actually insane. It must increase the uh, number of enemies that you can have. Look at how many there are, dude. Look at that! Holy shit. Oh yeah, I was gonna retry Old One's Army, but I guess I started the event again, so I can't really do that. I don't think it lets you do two events at once, even though the Stardust, this pillar thing, takes like a year. that can be copy pasted like 20 times in the same level somehow does way more than 
at the cultist, which is an actual boss. And I really wish this was piercing. That would make it slick. Slick. Maybe I should take the Stardust Dragon out of retirement. the rain clouds, boys. That won't let me heal. It's so annoying. Why doesn't it just let you heal all the time for free without having to use a potion? That would be ideal. Good mechanic, I guess. I haven't seen those shotgun guys in so long. Damn, I'm not doing any damage to him. Maybe the clouds are stopping the damage. Get out of the way. Well, I guess the clouds finish it. spawned. Probably are. Oh, come on, just despawn. Get a trillion years from there. this 
this way, do you think? Does it speed up the enemies also? Teleporting enemies are a super cool idea. I wish every enemy could teleport. That makes dodging them fun. Just not hitting it might be the strat. That's so much money. Like, how can you justify that? That's so much money. But, I mean, since everything's warding, money doesn't really matter anymore.
much like that. is a hard mode auto swing weapon. Its best modifier is godly or demonic. Okay. So yeah, I do have the best one. I was wondering if I should switch it up for Ruthless. They should switch it so that these guys can drop money. Because I don't, I don't go by the only enemy that doesn't drop money, and they're the, like, the hardest enemies. I really like it how the whole game freezes every time I flip a page. Two stars. Really? It's easily the hardest enemy out of that event.
faster than me somehow. Literally longer than a solar eruption. Imagine if Daybreak did throwing damage. 
there should be like Fox Alarm to make it do damage. That would be pretty funny. Seems like the extra platform up here confuses the crawl to beat and it can't attack me. It's pretty 
pretty cool. Kinda of tiring I have to do this over and over again just to fight with Lord. Wish there was some way to make it faster. in one day.
Whoa, they drop coins if they're brought outside of the arena? That's so weird, why is that a thing? Or is it just that one that glitched out? Yeah, my spears are going right through it. Yeah, Paladin's hammer does no damage. I don't think I should have grinded for it. It's probably a mistake. It should be about dead now. My guy is actually standing underneath the rain cloud. That's so funny. <laughs> Let's go to heaven. 
Oh, the humanity. Don't kill the dryad. I feel like they're way tankier than they were last time. I mean, look at that. Definitely dropped the gold. Uh oh, Dryad. You might not. That might not be the safest time for you to come back, buddy.
Hey Marco, you having fun? I think it's plea for death, not plead. Although pleading is a word. So I guess who knows. I'm so scared.
Okay, Gravitron. I'm super cool and smart and good. Why did I put a block in the air there? I don't need that. Ooh, let's go. This might be more DPS. I'll have to go back and check the recording later. So gross. Oh, I would hate that if that happened to me. does one damage, so it might be wise to just chillax. Stardust Dragon Fight is somehow working. I said fight, I meant to say strat. I might actually go back to Cell. I think the, uh, this is the strat. So fast. It's like 1100. The only thing is, is like constantly getting hit by the, uh, the hand. Actually, no. Yeah, that's the strat. I was gonna say that might halt my regen, but I'm regening really well. Okay, we figured out how to kill Moonlord. Let's go. Scarf using it against the Lord. Still good. The cells aren't doing anything. But if I use the Stardust Dragon, then it, uh. For some reason, not to use the Stardust Dragon. Can't remember it, but there is. I really do be taking that damage, though. Oh, look at that, that looks sweet. That's 
is my first time ever beating Moon Lord legitimately. I'm not using the, uh... Using the nurse drone. So we got kind of useless drops for us. This is for a mage. Looks cool as all hell though. Heck, sorry. Wait, did the guy die? No, he didn't. He's just hiding over here. Shooting them down at the speed of sound. Alright, the final boss. I still have to try out the new one though. Yeah, Skelltron Prime is still my favorite boss. It's just so cool, look at that. I could have been using that asphalt to get there faster. Forehead. I build an asphalt bridge and I'm like, I'm gonna use this all the time. I always forget about it. To be fair, it's partly the mechanic's fault though. I wanted to add a second teleporter leading you up to the asphalt. Because she wouldn't let me have yellow wire for some reason. Big upgrade. Now that's what an endgame ring looks like. Armored is so close. Let's go, dude. This is sweet. Let's do a refight. i 
selective. No. Probably shouldn't have buffed early because the gravitation runs out so fast. some random uh, jumps, you won't be able to hit me at the projectiles as much.
damage pranks. Ha, edge of space. That's a reference. Army set song and it does. sword. It's gonna take me so long to grind for it. If 
if I have to beat Moonlord nine times, probably more considering luck fairness. So next time I fight him, I should try to uh, guess wrong on purpose so I can unlock this thing. Well, thanks for watching. We've uh, beaten the game. Technically. I do want to finish off that one last boss and get the new sword that they introduced. damage is pretty sweet. This is so stupid. A true victory was earned over Master Mode. So it all started, the Eye of Cthulhu, King Slime, Eater of Worlds, Skeletron, Wall of Flesh, Skeletron Prime, Destroyer, Twins, Flying Dutchman, Queen Bee, Queen Slime, Nightera, Golem, Cultus, and finally, the Moon Lord. There's still a few achievements, uh, or events I mean. I need to get the sword from the Halloween event, and I 
need to get this work for the Christmas event. Is there any other events I'm forgetting? So I need to kill Moonlord a few more times for those two. Oh yeah, the alien event as well. And I have to figure out how to get an enchanted sword. I think it's craftable now. I'll see you guys on the next episode.